The health ministry has been touring various counties to ascertain the level of preparedness in combating the novel coronavirus. Nyandaro County, which is among the nine counties that have not yet recorded any COVID-19 cases yet, played host to the daily COVID update. It is here that the governor called for more support from the national government in improving healthcare facilities in the counties. I want to congratulate the people of Nyandarwa for being COVID-19 free to date. However, however, this does not mean that the people of Nyandarwa are immune from contracting the virus. Far, far from it. I want to urge the county government and the people of Nyandarwa to generously protect these status that you have. This is our best institution in the county of Nyandarwa. So you can imagine how the others are. We have major problems about the Kipenda Kusaidiana and Awewe, the issues of uh, asbestos on the honor roofs, uh, the congestion in the hospital, the inadequacy of uh, staffing, technical staff, and also equipment that we have. The government has, however, maintained that asymptomatic patients can still spread the virus, with the health ministry keen on ensuring that even with home-based care, the risk of further spread is considerably reduced. For us to think about how we feed our children, in order for them to grow up with sufficient immunity. And because of our immunity, we will be able to be able, we'll be able to protect ourselves against this disease. The possibility of asymptomatic positives shedding the virus to others is still alive. And so the use of the mask, what uh, CS has stressed, and we keep stressing, and I can see some of us are not wearing the masks in our midst, and we keep saying, if you see someone not wearing a mask, Mwambia kuondo keta vadari. The health CS saying a study conducted by the Ministry of Health last year showed that Kenya lost 373.9 billion shillings due to child undernutrition. He called for better feeding practices saying one in four women of reproductive age have anemia and that 28% of adults aged between 18 and 69 years are overweight or obese, raising the risk factor for non-communicable diseases such as diabetes diabetes and hypertension. These diseases have been identified among those that make COVID-19 a bigger threat for patients. Kagwe also noting that children were not doing any better with 22% of those aged between 6 and 23 months consuming a minimum acceptable diet and 61% of children exclusively breastfed during the first six months of life. The government's numbers, however, continues to raise questions. There are 3,727 COVID-19 cases with 564 listed as admitted at various hospitals countrywide and 104 listed as dead. A further 1,286 are listed as having recovered and been discharged. 288 are listed under home-based care discharges. It leaves 1,485 cases unaccounted for. As the coronavirus cases continue to rise in the country, the clarion call to Kenyans is to maintain a healthy diet during this time and reduce the susceptibility to the disease. As the COVID-19 cases in the country continue to rise, the clarion call to Kenyans is to ensure that they maintain a healthy diet. <laughs> Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV at the JM Karaoke Hospital in Nyandaro County.